The goal of this presentation is to explain how the evolution of marketing evolved. Production era evolved during the Industrial Revolution until the 1920s, where companies focus solely on the production. The mindset was that the quality of products would sell itself and didn't focus on the customer's desire. During the production era, demand exceeded supply which created seller's market. Henry Ford was selling Model T cars without competition in the market. During the sales era, many companies had similar products and had to compete on buyer's attention because supply exceeded demand. Companies used aggressive sale tactics and went from home to home in an attempt to sell all types of products. They also advertised on all types of media to compete on the market. Companies created more superior products than the competition to attract more buyers. The marketing era began in the 1950s, when production started to grow more than demands for goods and services. Many companies sold similar products, all in competition for, with one another for consumer attention. This resulted in a buyer's market being created in the start of the marketing era. For example, General Electric's. They allowed customers to choose how much they want to pay, along with it being delivered. This took in consideration for what would be best for the society. Societal marketing era, on the other hand, began in the 1960s to the 1970s. This business technique allowed for profits for companies and the consumer. An example of this would be fast food companies giving their consumers healthy food to all tuners for consideration for their health. The evolution of marketing concludes with the customer relationship error, which in turn emphasized creating long-term relationships with fellow customers and being able to build a basis of loyal, meaningful care for people overall. These actions would be sure to keep customers around for a very long time and have the pleasure of serving these same customers over and over again. As you can see from the two examples of Starbucks and Amazon, both companies make it a habit of making a lasting impression and keeping their image in the minds of the customer. Truth is, people don't forget about their experiences.